The die-hard Paralympic adventurer ascends Spain's highest mountain. Most people go to Tenerife to enjoy the sunshine, beaches and nightlife. Others, like the German paracyclist Michael Teuber, are attracted by Spain's highest mountain, El Teida. It's a long and strenuous climb, but Paralympians don't take no for an answer, even with a broken collarbone. To reach the top, Michael has calculated one day, but his recent surgery may force him to change his plans. El Medino, Tenerife at 6 o'clock in the morning. The long planned project can now begin, by bike and on foot. Michael's wife, Susanna, and the mountaineering expert, Sepp Heigenhauser, are part of the team. Also, alles auf Null, jetzt geht's los. Pussy. Wir sehen uns. Sepp. Auf geht's, gell? Wir, wir sind ja beieinander alle. And they're off. The island is still asleep, but Michael needs time to be on his side if he is to reach the summit by nightfall. I'm going pretty well. I can feel my shoulder and back aching, but right now, I'm doing fine. Beautiful scenery and a flat road. Perfect conditions if his shoulder holds up. We may need an additional two, two and a half hours before switching to the mountain bike with the rising gradient of 1,400 meters. Now I'm at 1,900 meters. The air is getting thinner and the path is steep, making it harder to breathe. And it's tricky keeping my pulse under 140. Time to switch onto the mountain bike, a welcome break. Susanna applies ointment to alleviate Michael's pain, but it still continues to hurt. They're well on schedule and may even reach the summit today. The landscape becomes harsher as the mountain transforms into a volcano. The arduous ascent pushes the Paralympian to his physical limits, yet he's far from giving up. The peak is now within reach, and Michael has to speed up to get there on time. Looking at his face, it would seem his shoulder is really hurting. The cycling part is over, that's good. Now a quick change of clothes, we need to keep on moving. Now it's time to go. 
I'm a bit drained now after the cycling stage, but hopefully I can advance well. Different muscles will be needed now. For the most part, I didn't have to push my body to the limit, except for the very steep part up here. Im grünen Bereich gehalten. Hier oben war es letztlich dann nimmer möglich, wo es steil geworden ist. You have to be ready for it. That's part of the game. Im roten Bereich gefahren, aber gut, das muss man natürlich auch mit in Kauf nehmen. Das muss muss mit drin sein, ja. From now on, the men are on their own. Susanna waits by the car as her husband and the mountain expert Sepp hike to the top. A huge challenge, especially for someone with paralyzed lower legs. So far I've spent five and a half hours on the bike and now comes the hiking. The path should be even for about an hour and it then gets steeper after that. Four more hours to go. It's serious business for Michael. He's determined to hike up to the summit on the same day. Oh. Mission accomplished, finally there. What a success for Michael. This is one of my top achievements. I can hardly believe I did it. In 11 hours on one day, taking my handicap and a shoulder injury into consideration, I'm proud to have accomplished this. I'm telling you, everything is possible. You can't believe what power you really have. If you just put your mind to it and go for your goals, you will make it. Trust me.